Hey, I want to pass on this little trick because this could be extremely helpful. I know if you leave a generator sitting after a while, um, you might not might not produce electricity. Actually, you should use it use it every once in a while. You have to like excite the generator, keep it going, or else it doesn't produce electricity. Well, I found this little tip on the uh, internet because I realized this wasn't producing electricity, but it was six months ago. So I was trying various devices and I couldn't get it to work. But what they said was, you go on, get a drill, plug it in, you start the generator up, and you start spinning this by hand. And what happens is, is sometimes that's enough to excite it. Now, I would recommend you use a variable speed drill. Now, I didn't even have to spin this by hand. It started up. I was trying various devices. There wasn't any electricity coming out of this thing. And then, uh, I guess the variable speed was enough, like a low boost, or whatever the hell you want to call it, low starting power. It started. But even if it doesn't do that, try spinning this drill by hand. And sometimes that can get it going. That is a very, very important tip. Because a lot of times these things will sit around you forget about them. And, you know, that was the first time this happened with this one. I got this back in 2006, I believe, 2006. And that was the first time this happened with this thing. Now it's producing electricity fine. Uh, so the variable speed, speed drill is what able this thing to start up the uh, electrical uh, capacity again on its electrical producing capacity. Now this needs to be tuned up and have an oil change. I'm going to need a spark plug for it and uh, change the oil on it. But uh, this I want to point out. Use the variable speed drill trick. If it's still not producing electricity, try to spin it over by hand. You know it by hand a bunch of times and uh, you can probably get it going that's uh, that's a good trick <laughs> 